Okay, so here I am at the wailing wall. Step back a little bit. They are praying. They are wailing. They are calling upon the name of the Lord. They're weeping for the city of Jerusalem. They're weeping for the Temple Mount. They're weeping for the peace of Jerusalem. In lieu of the fact that just a few days ago, rockets were flying across the border from Syria. Just about a week ago, rockets were flying across the borders from Gaza. <coughs> the fact that just two weeks ago, Benjamin Netanyahu actually flew planes into Syria to destroy three different military installations that may have been had actually had missiles from Iran. The constant threat of nuclear annihilation from Iran. The enemies from the north, the bear of the north, Russia, having a war of words right now. These are the reasons, these are just some of the reasons they come to pray the Wailing Wall. These are just some of the reasons. And there's such a heavy anointing here, and I, I need to share a dream with you. Last night, I had a dream. I, I'm, I'm heartbroken. I'm having a hard time even telling this dream. I had a dream of 18 bombs. Six hitting the city of Haifa. Six hitting the city of Tel Aviv and six hitting the city of Jerusalem. And the Lord even specifically showed me where some of those that hit in Jerusalem hit. Many people died. The Lord told me that this was just the beginning of sorrows. The nation was stunned, the world was stunned, but Israel was not destroyed. The Lord told me to tell people to give their lives to Jesus Christ, to get as many people saved as I possibly can. To, to. So really, on this, this trip, this has not been a vacation for me. I'm going to be honest with you. I've, I, I worked 19 hours yesterday. I was, after going to Jericho and Bethlehem, uploading all the videos, and reading emails and in prayer, then I began to write in uh, the book I'm writing, Jerusalem Jihad. And the Holy Spirit laid heavy upon me to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for all, all people. And I think that's why the Lord sent this dream to me last night, because I was coming here. My heart is troubled. And He wanted me to come here and He wanted me to share and pray. When I prayed for the peace of Jerusalem a few moments ago here on this wall, I did just that. It was so vivid, and you know, I can't tell you how the, I'm not saying it was a prophecy, I'm just telling you it was a dream. And I actually pray, God, do not let any of these explosions that I saw last night in my dream come true. I've asked God, please, let this just be a dream, and let the power of prayer change that. Let the power of prayer change that. Want me to take a picture of you? Yeah. Want me to take one of you? Yeah.